15 days after I became the chairman, we had a huge union eruption in Telco, which now is called Tata Motors. And uh, there was an outside, in effect, a gangster who decided that there was considerable wealth in our union and wanted to take over control of that. He had about 200 followers, disruptive, uh, violent, intimidating followers. And the rest of the 4,000 people in that plant were uninterested but we had made a mistake by uh, taking the union for granted. So the union was thought to be the management's mouthpiece. So we'd done something wrong, and they were, the workers were very happy to wait and see what violence would get them. The whole issue was this guy wanted to take over the union, and we would not let him do so. So we confronted him. Uh, there were two views on that. People felt we should appease him, get him out of the way by winning him over, and I was of the view that we could never do that. He beat up, uh, or he arranged to beat up four or five hundred of our employees. The police were in his pocket. You, you could go to the police and, and chances were nothing would happen. Uh, and then he emerged on a really nasty path of going to our officers' homes at two in the morning, ringing the bell with ski caps on, and then stabbing them, always, always in the thigh, so that they didn't die, but they all had to go for surgery. So he demoralized the, the management. And uh, then there was increased pressure on me not to have the stand up, well, why don't you give in? And I thought that's the thin end, edge of the wedge and uh, it's never going to end here and it's going to be a takeover of everything and he will run us like a gangster unit and he raped the union of the funds that it has. So I continued to confront him and he called a strike, and so everything stopped in the, in the company. Um, I put out a call uh, to the workers to come back. They were all afraid of coming back because of what he would do to their families, etc. So I went and stayed in the plant for three days with the workers as they started to come back. And we started to restart production. People from purchase, people from accounts, uh, everybody lent their uh, brawn, if you might, on the shop floor to, and we started producing vehicles. And he kept saying that the plant was closed and we, we then took out some ads where we showed the number of people that had come back and they were trickling back anyway, but they saw that the management was firm. So finally, uh, he lost. He, the police stepped in and, and they arrested him and arrested many of his cronies and, and the f strike was over and everybody went back. And, and then, of course, everyone said, thank God you did this, etc. He, in turn, as soon as he got out of jail, uh, put out a contract that he was going to kill me. And then again, everybody said, you know, why don't you uh, make up with him and so on. We, we just never did that. And that was the turning point of the whole labor relations of, of that company. Looking back on it, I would never have done it any other way. Mm -hmm.